This week we're featuring rose quartz, opal under the microscope cam, dryer sheets on why'd I buy that, 32 new jokes, and more laughy than a piece of taffy. I'm writing a country song about fishing. It's called Jesus Take the Reel. Let's start the show. Nice piece of rose quartz, kind of heart-shaped, kind of D-shaped, I guess. Didn't really want to go for a triangle. I didn't really want to even it out into an ordinary D-shape. I wanted to keep it kind of bow-shaped. It's kind of a bow, a bow and arrow shape. So that's kind of what we got, is a bow and arrow without the arrow. But that's all right, because I got a piece of champagne quartz, which is kind of arrow-shaped. We'll show them both under the microscope cam. And I think the champagne quartz is going to happen next week. I broke out my sharp 1,000 grit lap. Brand new 1,000 grit lap. Ooh, I love a sharp lap. I was able to straighten out that amethyst from a couple weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Way too long ago. How are you doing today? Glad you're here. Welcome to the show. Quiet that down a smidge. Maybe a little bit of ASMR with the grinder and fire up the chatbot since I saw it. Yay. Cheers to that. And cheers to you for being the best audience on YouTube. You're fantastic. That's why you're here. We're going to recharge your fantasticness. At least as much as we can. And thank you for bringing what fantasticness you have and helping to pilot the show with it. Cheers. <sighs> Yay, the chatbot's working. All right. We got ourselves... Um, a lot of rust in this rose quartz, but that's good. It leads to a, a really nice pink-orange color. I really appreciate it. I got my my red tank top on, but it's it's kind of rose colored, and uh, it matches the stone. And I did not do that on purpose. That just happened by chance. How cool is that, right? Hashtag Trendy Club. Let's see if we can still do that. Boom. You know what? The, I, instead of typing in exclamation command, I should change it to exclamation commando. Because that's funny. Okay, yep. Trendy Club. Tomato. Buy my thing. Benny Loco says, Chromies, homies, call it us, and whoever Jacob is, rolling eyes, open mouth, with a gumball in it. That's what it looks like. Chewing on a gumball or maybe even a piece of rose quartz. Welcome to the show, Benny. Glad you were able to make it. So what do we have here? Some rose quartz. I really like this piece. It's good size. And there's no flaws in the bulk of it. That's why it, why it did. It started out fairly sized and got smaller. It's because there were flaws. But they were on the outside edges of the stone. We wound up with this big piece. 
I really wish the, the picture would get the, the true color. The camera's not even getting the color. Maybe the microscope cam will work. Not too long of a show today. But, you know, a little bit longer. Jawbreaker face. There you go. So it's, it's a jawbreakers in there. That's why you don't have any teeth. This this piece of rose quartz has a lot of nice reds in it. It's got some reddishness. The video does kind of show the reddishness of the quartz. I really like that. I'm happy with that. That turned out. But I, I didn't want to just make another square, which I could. I mean, you know, I could just square this off. But, you know, it's like we're just going to we're just going to keep it as big as possible, like I always do. We're going to make it unique. Nobody else has a gem this shape. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and we, we met the bottoms into that pavilion, so it has a nice nice color flare in it. You know, the, the, the light bling right off of it. Mm -hmm. It does that. And... Here's the arrow. This piece of champagne quartz. We're going to feature this next week, I think. I said I was going to feature a piece of topaz, but I didn't really want to feature another piece of topaz in my color palette, which is what I call my Instagram. So my Instagram has all the... It's got, you know, different gems and color, 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 color. And... I wanted, I wanted to have a, a pink one, you know. Actually, I wanted to have a blue one, but I don't have any blue ones even close to being ready. So there's the bow, and there's the arrow. Stoop! Right over to you, because you're great. I'm doing the show an hour early this week because I want to go to this open mic night. And the open mic night is running, actually, right now, till three hours from now. So if I get done... And I drive over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss out on the first hour and a half. So if I did the show at my usual time, I would miss out on the first two and a half hours and get there for the last half an hour. And I try to be there to support the other comedians. So that's the goal. It's much deeper color in the video. Definitely. I like the shape. I like you, Benny. You're great. You're fantastic. It is a much deeper color, and it's got a little bit of a redness to it, doesn't it? It's not necessarily a dry pink or a straight pink. There's a little bit of that reddish hue. I think that's hue. Tone? Essence? Pick a word. We'll apply it. And then the top. I wasn't quite sure about the top either. Um... Let's see. Oh, cool. I was talking to Emily Eshelman and Kenny about uh, my open mic night. And they said, that's awesome. Definitely have to some night. I can get my mom to watch the kids for a bit. And it's great. They're going to come watch me do comedy. I got a video of me doing some comedy at the jukebox. I'm not sure if I should play it, though. The only thing that I don't like about my videos of me doing comedy at the jukebox is that the camera treats the laughter like white noise. Because, you know, the camera's trying to pick up a conversation, so it's trying to get rid of background noise. And a lot of the laughter is background noise. And so it it really tones down the laughter. It's not as loud as it is when I'm up on stage and it's... People are like showering me with the ha ha vibrations. It's great. I'm telling you, I'm doing better than I actually appear on the video. I'm just saying, just just throwing that out there. Just letting it be known. Man, those were some deep chips on the back of there. I wasn't sure how deep they were going to go, but you got to get rid of them. That's part of making it happen. Really happy with this piece. I like it. Let's show it under the microscope, shall we? Yes, record it, Jacob. What are we recording? That sounds fun. Will you record it? Oh, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'll record my open mic night tonight. I probably should. 
I record the ones at the Jukebox Comedy Club. But see, the, the Jukebox is a little different environment. It's a comedy club, so there's certain there's certain things that go with it. It's like how, you know, when you go to church, it's a different atmosphere than when you go to the barber shop, which is a different atmosphere than when you go to the grocery store which is a different atmosphere than when you're at home. You know, think about like when you invite somebody to your house versus when somebody invites you to their house. It's a different atmosphere. And so the comedy club, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like a bar crowd at an open mic is a di different atmosphere than a comedy crowd at a comedy club. And this is neither. This is a theater. But it's an open mic night for a theater, so it's supposed to be comedy, but they also have a bar. So it's a little bit of that. And the audience is so small, because it's Sunday night, I'm like, hmm, don't know. But it's fun. I, I like it. That's why, and you know, mostly I like I like the people. They're, they're good, supportive comedians, so that's why I'm going over to do it. Part of the reason I'm going to do it. The other reason is just to get more stage time. Maybe during the joke portion of the show, I'll I'll play one of my jukebox videos. I should probably play the first one, because that's the best one. And that has some jokes that um, you've heard before, but it's been a little while. I think maybe I'll do that instead of playing this last one. I don't know. This last one was okay, but I only I was only up there for like three and a half minutes. And I try to get all five of my minutes. But the nice thing is, I've been up on the jukebox stage five times, and I told different jokes every time. So I've got over 20 minutes worth of jokes, and that's, you know, just barely putting a dent in my material. Got a lot of jokes over the year, or the last couple of years that we've been writing them down. Got over 1,700 jokes. About 700 of them are stage-worthy. I keep working on some of them, too. I, I went through back through the list, which takes a while. Sheesh. It's daunting. But I, I improved a couple of them. And basically, I'm going to try and record um, a special. I'm thinking about recording like a 45-minute special. I'm going to make chunks. You're like, you know, this is a, all my jokes about cars. This is all my jokes about food. This is all my jokes about uh, clothes. And I'm going to record. I got a microphone set up. I'm trying to get my sound stage set up so that it sounds decent. And I want to get my material together so I can, I can just tell it instead of like trying to look at my list all the time. That's another thing, is trying to remember all of those 700 decent jokes, or at least, you know, some of them. Like, like I, I forget so many of them. Like, uh, what was that joke about how I have an ant in the news? We call her anti-information. That's a classic joke. I like that joke. So I, I want to make sure I tell all those jokes, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the special... Happy jokes for smart people. I think that both applies, and it would make me click. Because I like happy jokes, and I like to feel like a smart people. Like all of you, you're awesome, and smart, and people. Thanks for coming by the show. Let's see, where were we? We got that video. We're trying to do... I got a lot of jokes this week, too. Yeah, because they haven't been live for three weeks. Plus, I wrote a bunch of jokes based on aphorisms and idioms. Yeah, welcome to that. Let's see, where are we with the show, anyway? Zoom. Moving things around. Getting ready for the microscope. The cam. The scope of cam. Y'all all have extra awesome sauce. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the poll, Jamie? Because I, I usually whip out the poll at the last minute. I'm like, that's another that's an extra chance for a joke. I don't have anything written ahead of time. 
The only thing I have written ahead of time is the intro to the show where I say things like more laffy than a piece of taffy. Or like last the last show, not last week, a couple weeks ago, I said more good times than a sundial. Sundial's got good time. I mean, it's based on the sun. Dorito and the Lucha Cabre. Welcome to the show. Glad to see you. How's it going? Glad you made it. He said a smart people. I say a lot of things. Welcome to that uh, program. Smash that like button. Ouch, you smashed your thumb? Man, that's got to hurt. I, I did that a few weeks ago, and I finally just got it trimmed out of my nail. You know, you smash it, and then it, it appears, and then you got to wait for it to grow out. And that finally happened. If you have any questions, I was going to say any jokes, but uh, if you have any questions about rose quartz, now is the time. And if you have any jokes about rose quartz, now is the time. Go ahead and ask away. This isn't actually a, it, it's a very hard piece. And that usually happens when you get a solid piece of crystal. And I'll show you under the microscope cam, one of the sides of it, like most of the sides are there. One of them is harder than the rest to uh, final polish. Where's my camera? Blink. And USB cam. Now I'm going to zone it in on this opal before I hurt your eyes with the unfocusedness. Because we're looking at fixing a ring for Colette. And we needed to find something that matches the ring. The ring has white opal with green flare. Green, uh, whatchama? whatchama -ness. Point. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this, we got this green, this white opal with this little bit of green area. And the UV from the LEDs is bringing out more of those flares. The flares don't show on our natural light, but the little green bits, those actually show up. And it's super thin, that last little bit. But that's okay, I think it's still thick enough. But the problem I'm having is that it's not big around enough. It needs to be a little bit bigger around. And I went and I ground out some of this dirt and stuff. You can kind of see where I smoothed it over on the edge. There. I don't want to grind too deep into this because I don't want to lose that opalness. I'm doing it on this flat lap and usually this is done on a barrel. A barrel shaped lap. So I thought, I, I mean, I think I showed this before, and I thought I'd show you the progress on it. Let's see. There's another piece of opal that Colette sent that I wanted to show under the microscope. I haven't worked with it yet. But I wanted to take a look at it with the microscope cam, and I wanted to get you all involved. So we can kind of see the progress on this. Let's see if I can show you the ring and the missing zone. Here, look at those colors. Those colors don't come through ordinarily. I, they might in the daylight. I haven't held it up in the sun. But there's the missing piece, the missing cab. Little bitty cabs. Little bitty cabochons of opal. And see, this matches so well. Like I've got, I've got other opal, but it it doesn't match. Like I've got this piece of kind of clear opal, and I've got this yellow opal with some white ishness on the side of it, but it doesn't match the ring. That yeah, doesn't match. That definitely doesn't match. It's going to be neat. We'll shape it. We'll feature it. We'll see what happens with it. It's not the same. And this video is not the same either, is it? That's why we need to get the next one. Point. 
clickety go. All right, we got 17 minutes to get through the rest of the show. Let's see what I can do with that much time. Okay. Wanted to show the other piece of opal, then we'll show the rose quartz under the microscope cam. The stone of the week. You are all the stone of the week. Because you're fantastic like that. Oh, wait a minute. Where are we? Did it bong out? Okay. See, this This is a nice piece of white opal. It has that flare in it. And I'm thinking that it might actually work. It's actually very white. I need to grind down to get it to show a little bit more of the flare. And I was hoping there'd be some green in it. And there is just a little bit of green. And hopefully it'll 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 match. Cuz I think all those little cabs were taken out of the same piece of opal. So to to match it is going to be pretty hard. Rather difficult. There we go, that green in the corner a little bit. So all of this flare is down in the opal a little ways, so I need to grind down to help help bring that opal to the surface. Because the opalescence is, it's like subsurface cracks. So if you grind too low, they chip out. But if you're too thick, you can't see them very well. So the closer you get, the better they show, and the light can just right off of them. So that's kind of the goal with this opal. I'm going to process this little piece of opal a little bit, and hopefully we can show it on the show next week when we feature that champagne quartz. I'll even show you the topaz I was going to feature. And we will get to, going to feature this guy, this piece. Nice little piece of topaz. That way I have a stone to feature. But I have not been ready for the show the last couple weeks. Got a piece of rotolite too. This is going to be a feature for the show. We're going to show this one on the show. You can see it get shaped in a few weeks. Sometime coming up. I don't know, it just does, it do, it doesn't show the red like I wish it would. I mean there you can see the redness. So maybe it should be mounted in the ring that way. You know. Just say it. That's an option. Let's see. Here's a piece of amethyst that we featured a couple weeks ago. I straightened it out with a sharp lap. They got the sides a lot straighter on it. And I straightened up the back. So I'm happy with that. Here's the piece of champagne quartz that still needs a little bit of end polishing done. We'll try and feature that next week. See how that end facet is kind of cloudy? Yeah, I need to polish those, but I got the side facets polished. And last but not least, of course, is the stone of the week. Here's the piece of rose quartz. Got that nice flare going on. Kind of glad I went with kind of a square on the table there. I like big top facets, ones that you can look down in, study. Helps me enjoy the stone. Got a nice 45 going on. Good 45 degree angle there. And the hard facet I was talking about is this, this, this back facet, this big back facet. This thing did not want a final polish. It's still got some scratches. Some of that might be fingerprint. Nope, that's the scratches. That's the scratchiness. Didn't get to finish final polish in it, but I got it close enough that it really highlights the stone for the show. And that's what I wanted to do, is show you guys a, a nice piece of rose quartz for the show this week. Very red, nice and red, much pinker on the cam. Oh yeah, yeah, it's 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 still not even fully showing. The video is what shows the true color. That's the color that I get when I look at it. And even the webcam isn't showing the right color. 
it's it's got a nice like like I look at it and I'm like yeah I like it getting yeah we're getting a little bit of the pinkness at the right angle but I'm happy with it just like I'm happy with my recent purchase I made a purchase but what did I buy and why did I buy that I bought dryer sheets that's what I bought and uh, that's what I'm gonna talk about if I can figure out how the show works again Boink. There we go. All right. So, I bought dryer sheets. I like dryer sheets. Hey, Scrapping made it. All right. Welcome to the show. Glad you made it. I hear you're getting into pearls. That's interesting because I, I, I keep meaning to shape some shell. We've got shells around here, and I just take them for granted, you know. I haven't actually taking the time to shape any shell which is you know it's basic it's got knacker it's the layer of stuff that makes up for pearl you bought downy dryer sheets mm, did I mm, did I the question is so why did I buy you know opal is my very most favorite stone of all opal is cool I like opal a lot I gotta say I like topaz the best, but uh, I, I think opal is really, really cool stuff. I mean, it's got to be one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites to get into shaping, and I can't wait to fix that ring and get it back to Colette. I've had it for like a year, and I'm just trying to take my time because opal is difficult to polish, and I'm, I'm learning, and I don't want to ruin it. You know, it's actually pretty rare that I get a, a decent piece of opal. Um from my my cellar like like my how my cellar had uh, all this great chrome diopside for sale and now it's gone it was there for about three months every day there was a new piece of chrome diopside for sale and i really only got like 20 pieces of it because the rest of it went for more money than i'm willing to pay for it which is not much but I'm glad that I was able to get it. And the same thing with the opal, and I don't want to squander it, right? Because it's hard to say when more is going to be available. Sort of like that prey night. I got a lot of good prey night, but I haven't seen any for a whole year. So it's hard to say, you know, I'm going to have to go to like a rock and gem show. Like the Tucson rock and gem show. Then we'll figure that out. But what are we trying to figure out here is dryer sheets. The reason I buy a dryer sheet, so if I don't use a dryer sheet, my clothes come out all crunchy and they make a lot of dust and they wear out faster. The dryer sheets actually make my clothes last longer. They're not as crunchy, they don't, the fibers don't break apart. It has something to do with the oiliness. It doesn't have anything to do with the smellfulness. I actually was going for dryer sheets that don't have much of a smell, that, but they still make the the clothes, you know, soft. And so, it that, uh, that's why they call it fabric softener. Yeah. Except for towels. I leave those crunchy because they, they seem to dry better. And they, they, they exfoliate better, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. I should be exfoliated already after having been in the shower. But that's another story. <clears throat> this is what I saw when I went to the dryer sheet aisle. They got great packaging because they got all the different colors. They got the dark blue, which is the fancy stuff. They got the light blue, which is the more budgety stuff. They got the black and the 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 orange, which is the high budget and low budget. Down yonder, they got the green boxes. Even farther down, they got the off-brand, where it's like, instead of saying bounce dryer sheets, it's like... Uh, spring dryer sheets or something like that. I don't know. I, I can't remember. But they they are maybe it's like um, ever ever fresh 
dryer sheets. Stuff I haven't heard of, but basically the price per sheet is really close. They're all about four point something cents. Even the more expensive ones are, it's like 4.5 cents versus 4.3 cents. And it adds up. I mean, it really does, but it's not like 3 cents versus 5 cents. Or even, you know, 2, two and a half cents versus 7 cents. That's a pretty big gap. That might actually adjust my buying. But with that low of a, a buying gap, basically what I did is I went from each box and smelled them, and I found the one that had the least smelliness smell. Because I don't want too much dryer sheetly smelling. I mean, I mean, I like fresh clothes. But mostly I'm I'm not trying to like, like cough and die when I smell my laundry fresh out of the dryer. So, uh... What I did is I bought the Bounce orange box because that was the least smelliness. And sometimes I like the, the Downy brand sheets, but sometimes they're too smelly. So it's kind of weird. It's very powerful stuff. But anyway, that's what I bought, and that's why I buy that. Do you buy dryer sheets? Why do you buy that? For good smelling clothes, right? For soft clothes because that's fabric softener. Lizard King, welcome to the show. You got Downey, don't lie. They spell it without the E, so I'm a little offended, Benny Loco. And actually, I have bought it before. It's you know, it's good stuff. I actually smelled the the of the fresh and the bliss, the the higher end boxes. I was gonna get the orange flowery box, but then I went with the bounce because it actually was a little bit less nosier. And I might change my mind, but that's what I got for now. And that's why I got that. You know what else I got? Jokes. For a portion of the program. Okay, what do, what do we... What Did I miss anything in the chats? Because you guys are awesome. Who will be eating oysters? They're not oysters, Benny. They're river clams. Mm -hmm. Mississippi river clams. Very muddy. Mm-hmm. I want to go to the Tucson, Tucson show at least once before I kick it. But yeah, that's that's um trying to make a kick kick it show. Kick kick it joke. I don't have anything because you didn't say bucket. Well, if you kick the bucket, just make sure it's not the one that you use for washing your clothes in, because then then you'll have to refill it and use another dryer sheet. Going shucking oysters for pearls on multiple platforms. Our TikTok is Pearls Du Jour. Ooh, that's cool. I'm going to have to check that out. If my name was on a box, I would have to buy it because it has my name on it. Well, that's that's the problem, Benny, is that they don't spell it right. So how am I going to buy the, the ones that they misspelled? I don't, I don't know. Right? No riff raff. Just tinkering fun on TikTok tinkering. That's what it should be called. Okay, what do I got for jokes? Because I got quite a few of them. And it's not just me. It's definitely not you, because you're the best audience ever. And I know that because I get my news from the bar. It comes straight from the horse's mouth. Easier said than done... And that's saying a lot, because easy is pretty e easy, easy, wait, I didn't write this one right. Easier said than done, and that's pretty easy, because done is pretty easy to say. I think we need to rewrite that one. Every cloud has a silver lining. That must be why people smoke so much. Don't cry over spilt milk. Because then you have two things to clean up. I'm so hungry I could eat like a horse. Which means I'm so hungry I'm willing to eat field grass. I'm going to make a new kind of sandwich spread that gives people a shout out. We'll call it Heyo. Short for Heyonaise. I lost my dog. At first I was worried. But after an hour and a half yelling for him, I was so tired, I don't care anymore. Like, Rover, 
Rover! Rover! Oh, F it. He'll come back. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Unless you're talking about Mondays. Don't judge a book by its cover. Unless it's a book about the best way to make a book cover. And you, you should probably judge it by its cover. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Which explains why my wife hates me so much. I screwed that one up on stage, too. Now, you're going to see some of these jokes when I play the video. I think I'm going to play the, the video of me at the, the comedy club. Okay. Uh, they said at church they told me to give alms. So I put almonds in the donation basket. I guess that's not what they meant, because I had to pick them out. Next time I'll give peanuts. I think I told that joke before, but I added the peanuts part, so I wanted to retell it. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's an old joke. If you get COVID, you'll need 19 rolls of toilet paper a day. Your head will be more swollen than a vacation mailbox. Your nose will be more, more clogged than Congress. You'll be more stuffy than a White House dinner party. Why would someone buy a wooden telephone? They want to have a dialogue. Oh, that's a groaner. Someone asked me to fix their grill. I told them I'm not a dentist. I watched the Batman movie. It's just 90 minutes of movie with 90 minutes of slow motion shots. And no mention of baseball. Yeah, I tried I tried to watch the Batman movie, but they didn't even talk about baseball. Isn't Casey Jones also a Batman? He uses bats. I think the mob is having trouble with their squirt gun. They asked me if I'd come fix their water heaters. Yeah. Someone asked, if I go to a party, should I act like a visitor? I said, you guessed it. Oh, I hate that one. We're coming, coming back from the other direction. Trying to get healthy, so I switch to the salad diet. But I don't like vegetable salads. So I'm eating things like cra crab salad, ham salad, beer and bacon macaroni and cheese salad. I want to combine crab and ham salad. We'll, we'll call it cram salad. Because I think that ham salad is probably the least healthy salad. The only thing less healthy would be like frosting salad. Why was Winnie the Pooh so lazy? He was a bare-faced liar. That's a dumb joke. It doesn't make sense. Why was Bugs Bunny fired? He was having a bad hair day. Shame on him. He's a bad hair. Uh, let's see. Getting close. Clumsy people are the best hitchhikers, because they're all thumbs. Yes. I went to the Belmont Stakes to do comedy. I guess that makes me a class clown. Someone asked me if I want to bet on a horse race. I said, bet. I started smoking pot and playing a wind instrument. They said, what are you doing? I said, I thought I was supposed to be high fluting. They said, no, you're supposed to tell jokes. I said, I see the jokes. What do I tell them? But I'm, shh. I eat the vegetables that have the most pesticide so I can toughen up my insides. Getting close. Just a few more. I'm still single. I've been using the maybe she'll go out with me if I like enough of her social media posts dating method. If you walk a mile in someone else's shoes, you'll save a lot of money on shoes. Honesty is the best policy, unless it's tax season. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, especially if you throw it at him. And I'm writing a song about... Uh, I'm Okay, mess that one up. Starting over. Where's the beginning joke? No, I'm not, not going all the way back to the beginning. This is the last joke, I promise. I'm writing a country song about fishing. 
It's called Jesus Take the Real. I want to follow it up with a song about mashed potatoes called Jesus Take the Peel. And I'll sing a duet with Wayne Brady about game shows called Jesus Make a Deal. And then I'm going to wrap that album up with a song about being a comedian called Jesus I'm a Heel. And that's very obvious if you stuck around for the joke portion of the program. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to show you guys, and I'll join you in the chats here before I come back and, and say goodbye. I'm going to show you the time I had at the Jukebox Comedy Club. Where is it? Jukebox 5. I got to give a shout out to Lou. He's, he's pretty funny. Uh, the, the previous guy, he was getting low on time, and he was telling a joke, and they gave him the light right as he was telling the joke, and uh, that's what Lou is talking about here when he gives you a tip. Unsolicited comedy advice. Never end on the rape bit. <laughs> <laughs> if the goal is putting your comedy career in a hole, that'll do it. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the stage. Your next guy, you ain't seen nothing yet. This guy's so filthy. Should have you guys earmuffs. Just not rocky enough. <laughs> I didn't mean physically filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to the stage. My friend of yours, Jacob Downey. I do got a couple dirty jokes. <laughs> An apple a day keeps the doctor away, especially if you throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wrote a few jokes um, based on aphorisms, so uh, buckle up, knuckle up, and chuckle up. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder, unless you're talking about in-laws. <laughs> Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer, which explains my, why my wife hates me so much. Uh, okay, reading the list. Uh, if you walk a mile in other people's shoes, you'll save a fortune on shoes. <laughs> what do you call fog in a cemetery? Dead air. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I, I came up with an idea for a new drink where I combined Captain and Viagra. It's called a hard liquor. I told you I was dirty. <laughs> Somebody asked me to fix their grill. I told them I'm not a dentist. <laughs> oh, this joke is for Lou. He works on cars. I took my car to a mechanic. He said it sounds like you have a seal problem. Have you been driving in the Arctic? <laughs> we need a drum. So long. I built a phone with lips so people can kiss my apps. They told me at church I'm supposed to give alms, so I put a bunch of almonds in the donation basket. They got upset, I had to pick them all out. Next time I'll give peanuts. Oh, I hear you're from Texas. That's great, I got a cowboy joke. Why did the cowboy tell jokes? He wanted to giddy up. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm thinking about writing a country song about fishing. Yeah. It's called Jesus Take the Real. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna follow it up with a song about mashed potatoes called Jesus Take the Peel. <laughs> We're going to sing a duet with Wayne Brady about game shows called Jesus Make a Deal. Yeah. <laughs>
We were around that album and I was in a song about doing comedy called uh, Jesus, I'm a Heel. You need to wear a tuxedo, brother. <laughs> You're perfect, Crocky. We love you, man. I'm always glad when you come out. All right, this is the last one. I'm going to end on a tip. Honesty is the best policy, unless it's tax season. Thank you. I'll see you all in a couple weeks. Keep it up for Jacob, everybody. Uh, Jacob's actually Amish. He's out on Rumspringer right now. <laughs> he's fixing our AC, then he's going back to the motherland. <laughs> what? He's really Amish? He's a champion shirt on. You know I'm a comedian, right? Or like trying to be a comedian? <laughs> he had a price. He could be. He's got the jeans part with the hammer hole. <laughs> the hammer hole. Whichever hole you're thinking of, the hammer hole. Ah. <laughs> 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 All right, you just killed Rocky. <laughs> Rock, Rocky is like our kooky uncle at the comedy club. Like the kind of uncle at a birthday party, he goes, <laughs> Guys, welcome to the stage, Philly Kenchoa. things tonight. Um, glad we have a nurse in the audience in case any of you need uh, any resuscitation from this train wreck. <laughs> One of the things I'm working on tonight is holding the microphone closer to my face because uh, it's kind of weird. I'm not used to having something this shape so close to my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to put my jokes down here on the, the, the stool. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, that's one of the tricks that, you know, you're supposed to put a napkin down, but I wrote it down on paper. Okay, uh, wanted to pull one out. Um, ladies, after you wash that man right out of your hair, do you follow it up with a man-resistant condition? <laughs> yeah, it's an old-timey shout-out. Uh, you, know, you gotta know, you gotta know the song, right? Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see. Food. I tried to buy some food, but it's so hard to read the packaging. I went into Walmart and the packaging reads things like, now with artificial GMOs, made with real cheese coloring, rich in vitamin six. So I, I you know, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm buying. So I, I tried going to Whole Foods, you know, and, and at least things there have a bruise on them. You, that way you know it's real. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to be a little healthier. I started going to the gym, and uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if I want to go to the gym with people there, because I'll embarrass myself by not lifting enough, or, or if I want to go to the gym alone and have a heart attack and then die with 20 pounds on the bar. <laughs> it's probably more likely to happen. So, you know, instead, I, in order to be healthy, I, I tried, you know, starting the salad diet. But I don't like vegetables, so, you know, the salads I eat are things like crab salad, ham salad, beer and bacon mac macaroni and cheese salad. And I, I started thinking, you know, like, the only thing less healthy than ham salad is probably, like, frosting salad. <laughs> Which also sounds pretty good, I want to get some of that. Uh, let's see, I, oh, um, I, let's see, I have, a, I have an appointment. Uh, to meet my therapist, but I had to call and reschedule for disappointment. <laughs> Probably makes sense. I got a job working for the mob. Uh, sorry, I got a job cleaning for the mob, which now I'm a made man. <laughs> yeah, I found that uh, good sex is like the month of March. In like a lion, out like a lamb. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and dismount here. I, I went to the Belmont Stakes to tell jokes. I guess that makes me a class clown. I started smoking weed and playing a wind instrument. They said, what are you doing? I said, I thought I was supposed to be high fluting. 
<laughs> I said, no, you're supposed to tell jokes. I said, well, I see the jokes. What do I tell them? <laughs> All right, the last, last one. Um, last one or two. Uh, let's see how they do. <laughs> uh, so I, I started taking boxing lessons, and I think my instructor is into current events because he, he told me to float like a butterfly and sting like a gas price. <laughs> and uh, I, I, you know, I found a fifty-dollar bill, and you know, it's not enough to retire, but fifty bucks is fifty bucks. But like the IRS says, fifty bucks is thirty-eight seventy-five. <laughs> All right, thanks, folks. You're amazing. Come back next week, and uh, I'll have some new stuff. Keep going for Jacob. Keep going for your next comedian, Antoine. So oh, that's um, the jokes that I had for a portion of the program. I'm going to try and do that again this week. Hopefully I have some new stuff. <laughs> My fingers. You look eight foot tall on that stage. I know you should see the, the other guy, the guy that was after me. He's like, he's so tall. He's like, how funny would it be if I did a cartwheel on stage? And he put his hands up and he bumped the ceiling. Yeah. Actually, he's got a YouTube channel, too. I should share that. Um, I'll, I'll share his channel next week. Uh, I'll remember to bring that up. Um, man, it's, it, I'm totally drawing a blank like I usually do with the show. That was a hoot. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Jamie. And thank you, Colette S. You're all so fantastic. You, you know, you're the best audience out, out there in YouTube, in the world, I can't even say the world, best audience in the entire universe. Whole universe, all the way right down here. That's why we're the Trendy Club. And that's why I do it for you. And that's why I'm going to do it again next week. And next week we will do it at 9 p.m. Eastern because there's no open mics. Hopefully I'll have a video of this open mic. Otherwise I'll have one from my time on Wednesday, and we'll do that champagne quartz. Have a good week.